All right, in this part of uh, installing your own Altec standalone, I'm going to show you how you can wire in smart coils into your Genesis Coupe. All right, so when I'm working on this, um, just know that everything that I'm doing may not be like perfect um, technique. But um, one of the things that you will definitely need for this is going to be a pair of crimpers like this. Um, so basically you can crimp the wires and also crimp the seals because these need to be watertight connections. Um, and as I mentioned before, I have um, wire strippers like this too so that when you pull them, uh, it pulls the wires off. Just a little bit more convenient. However, if you need to get into a tight space, these are pretty crappy. So this is the connector. This is the OEM connector because when I bought my coils, I made sure to buy them specifically with these connectors on them because they looked fairly unique to me. Uh, so you can see that one of them is blank and um, has a just a, a silicone plug in there. So there are four terminals sorry four pins inside of these smart coils however you can see Hyundai only uses three of them the ones with four pins usually is like um, they essentially will have two ground wires this one is only going to have one ground wire and I am basing all of my information essentially on these colors and the colors of the connectors that I took off uh, and they're thickness. So what I am gathering is that uh, this pin, so if you look at where this notch is, if um, I don't know if these pins are labeled. Oh, they are. These ones are labeled. So it goes uh, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, and the The aftermarket connector that I got is labeled in the exact same fashion. So uh, how I have them organized right now, so it goes one, two, three, four, and the same thing for this one. So pin two to me looks like it is the signal from the ECU. Pin one looks as though it's the ground, and pin four um, will be our uh, 12 volt signal. And this 12 volt, um, what I am doing is I actually just use a fuse tap, essentially on the exact same fuse that the stock ignition coils use. Uh, and I've just run a 12 volt around. I only had black wire, so unfortunately I'm using black wire for that. And what I will end up doing is something like this, um, where essentially all four wires come into one. Uh, this will be like the main power because uh, they don't need much amperage. So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, essentially just do a real quick, um, I don't know if it's a time lapse or whatever, but I'll put it all together. And uh, if I include this clip, you'll know that I connected them the right way because the car will be just fine. Actually one quick thing, so here's another connector just because the colors may not be clear. So you shouldn't always base it off of colors. This one is off of um, a different model Hyundai, but you can see the signal wire is still green. Um, where I said the 12 volt is this gray one, clearly the 12 volt is going to be the red one. Uh, and this, uh, what did I say, that pin one is always going to be the ground. Okay, if I wasn't clear on these wire strippers, it's going to be kind of hard to see, but when you um, when you crimp these, there's going to be two tabs essentially, and they need to get folded over and pushed down. And these crimpers um, when you squeeze them, they have a special little piece that pushes those tabs in 
So these, uh, I can't remember the type that they are called, but these are important to have. And then you can see how um, the seal gets crimped to this wire. Okay, I don't know if it was easy to tell there, but um, I was actually struggling a lot trying to push these pins in. I think it's probably because I don't have the right size seal and, um, oh, and because of how my, um, the crimper was kind of making things uneven. But basically this little purple piece, you have to use a pick and you just pull it right out. You can see this one doesn't have it in there. Um, and these pins have to fit in there in just a way that um, that groove right there is completely open. Yeah, just like that. So um, that's what I was having a hard time with because I'm um, getting it to line in there and then go all the way across and then close it up. That's what I was having problems with. But uh, then we can take these. So now that these are in there, like I said, you're not going to use the stock ones. Um, and I'll get the extras out of the way. Uh, basically, you're going to have a switch 12 volt, which in this case is my black wire there, which is not a good way to do it. But like I said before, that's all I had. Um, and then this blue signal wire is just going to get attached to the correct wire from the um, from the Haltech. And then uh, in all the grounding videos that I've watched, what's really important is that these coils uh, they need a like a sensor ground. They get grounded to uh, the block, or more specifically, the head, because you're they take very little voltage uh, in some of these to actually trigger them. So if you run it to the battery, you could run the risk of uh, some problems. If you run it to like your sensor grounds, you could also have some problems with noise in the system, electrical noise. So what I'm going to do for my grounds is um, I'm going to go to like one of those speed terminals like this and um, I'm going to try just grounding them to a couple of these bolts that um, that go down into the head. So like how you have a bolt like this goes down into the head, obviously like the threads are going to make contact with the, the head. And um, I'm going to try that out first and if that doesn't work, there's a little bracket on the, the back here that normally holds these like O2 sensor um, connectors that I'll just run them to the back and connect it to that. So um, I'll go ahead, put all the connectors on, and then we'll make all the connections that we need. And then I think that's it for engine bay wiring.